Hey guys, it's Bubbly4041 and I'm back with another video. So today I'm just going to go over my Briarfest um, haul for 2021. It's going to be a fairly short video. I did not buy a lot of models this year. I did only get one all-access ticket for Briarfest. I didn't really like any of the special runs this year, um, except for Uffington, and then of course I was interested in what the surprise horse was, as is uh, most other people. And um, so I did get manage to get one surprise horse um, and then one other special run that I will show you that was not Uffington because unfortunately time got away from me and I did not submit my special run preference list on time so they just kind of randomly selected um another special run for randomly selected special runs for me and i was fortunate to get one surprise model and then one other special run that was not uffington um but i will show you him as well um and then of course i got a danny and then uh, another surprise as well so let me go ahead and start i'm just going to show you danny first and i'm not planning on keeping a lot of these guys so danny is still in box because i do plan on um selling her she's not really my cup of tea and i'm more into rear briars and peter stones and things like that at this point so this is the danny that i got it is a really nice model, and it is, a, you know, one of the newer molds, which is nice in terms of a celebration model. We know that Briarfest has sometimes been a little bit lacking with the special run, or the celebration models in the past, using molds that aren't really um, extremely popular uh, with the hobby. So it's nice to see a newer uh, mold that does show pretty well. And of course, her color is um, really interesting as well. And she looks to be in pretty good shape. She has some overspray um, up there, as you can see, a little bit. And otherwise, I haven't taken her out of the box um, to see her other side or anything. She has some marks, you know, can't tell if that's really dust or a mark. Looks like it might be a mark. A um, little mark right there off of that one spot. Um, some of her spots are a little sloppy and possibly some shiny marks and things like that. But overall um my opinion of the model is that i know she's a really big hit with some collectors um not me personally but it's nice to see a different color on a newer mold um being used as a celebration horse so that's danny i am going to sell mine um she will not be staying in my collection so or donate her or something she won't be uh staying here anyway so that is her i'll push her off to the side here so i'm gonna start out with um I guess my special runs next, um, and then I'll do another one last because I actually do plan on keeping some of the models that I got, um, but actually none of my special runs. So the first of the special runs that I got that was not the surprise uh, that Briar just randomly selected for me, again, because I forgot to submit my list, uh, unfortunately, was Perch Mel. I don't know how you say his name, but it's this guy, um, the one that was kind of on the more vintage mold. And he's, unfortunately, I did just get the Bay version. Of course, when all of the uh, runs were coming out, people were unboxing models, we realized that there was also a bus buckskin version of this guy. He was not one of the more rare um, models. He was a 50-50 split. I do think that I probably would have preferred the buckskin color more um, than the bay, but overall, this guy is not too bad. He's in pretty good shape. His biggest flaws are he has some spots there on his muzzle and i don't know i haven't tried giving him a bath or anything so i don't know if those would come off and then he does have some things some scuffs you can see some black marks and stuff there on his shoulder um that might be a mark or a hair i can't quite tell right now otherwise his markings themselves actually are pretty crisp overall not too bad and his color is is a nice bay um and it's an interesting color for this mold. We haven't really seen a lot of uh, kind of really rare, interesting colors on this mold. It's an older mold, so it is cool that Briar kind of took it back out and used it for this event. He does have hoof striping um, going on, and maybe, yeah, that's not supposed to be a sock or anything. It's just kind of how the hoof is on that foot. So it just has some striping on his uh, non-socked feet here. And then this is the other side. So overall, it's a neat pattern. Um, you know, it was executed fairly well on this guy. And he does have the Briarfest. It's upside down, but Briarfest 2021 on his belly. So that's kind of him. His eyes are nice, though. You can kind of see the... His eyes right there are tricolored, which is cool. So that is him. 
And I, again, like I said, I don't plan on keeping him. Um, I show him only, mostly OF Halter, and he's definitely not the most competitive mold um, out there, and I don't think I could come up with a good enough breed. Um, maybe Nez Pierce or something like that, but I don't think that would uh, be worth it to add him to my show string at this point, so he is going to be looking for another home. And then, like I mentioned, I did get one uh, surprise horse. I was interested in the mold that it came out on. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, you know, it's, it's again a newer mold, some interesting colors that we haven't really seen on the mold too much, and, uh, and that was cool. So I ended up getting one, and unfortunately, um, last year I was stuck with two glossies of the Slante Surprise, but it was of the same color, and this year I, uh, was unlucky enough to get, uh, this guy. This is the Champagne Bay debatable what his color is. Kind of the original concept idea, I guess, was supposed to be champagne, but Briar called it a bag. Who knows? Um, splash, kind of splash white guy. And of course, he is the most common uh, color, and he is matte. So <laughs> there's a thousand made of him, and I honestly don't love him enough to necessarily keep him. So this is the one that I got. His markings are nice and crisp, though, I will say. And he has that cute little belly spot right there. And his front knee socks are cool too. He does have the kissy spot. He does have cool blue eyes, which are actually pretty nicely done. And the pinking as well. He does have some overspray kind of unclear markings right there. Um, really nice athletic mold. I don't know how realistic the white on the end of the tail is right there. Um, debatable, you know, a little bit. There's some more kind of uncrisp markings on that side. And then his knees, eh, a little bit, you know. Um, this, this kissy spot is definitely a little bit better. And then he has the other blue eye and such um, on this side as well. So he's definitely a cute guy. Uh, cool colors this year, but just, um, again, not really my cup of tea to make it worth uh, keeping him in my collection and taking room on my shelves. So he will be looking for a new home as well. But that is him. And then the last models I have to show you that I got related to Briarfest, I did get the magnet as well, and I did also get uh, a sticker sheet from the Briarfest store. Um, it was I thought it was cool. I like stickers. I have a couple stickers here and there. So I did get the sticker sheet as well, but I don't have those out here to show you. So the last models that I did get, I'm um, kind of making a theme here, I did get the stablemate pack that they made for this year. So gonna go ahead and show you those guys. I am actually keeping three out of the five, um, so I am keeping some models from Briarfest this year. Um, so we'll just go over them real quick. So this was, actually, I'll show you the back of the box as well. So this was the box that they came in, and then this is a series two, because last year was a series one, and then this is the back of them. They're all made from Briarfest 2011 models, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is, I'm not gonna try to say his name, but he was made after um, the early bird model for 2011. So there's this guy. He's the little Pasifino dude. Um, not keeping this guy, but not really because of any flaws or faults of his own. He has a little bit of scratches right there, but nothing horrendous. Um, but overall, he's, he wasn't too bad in terms of condition. It's more that uh, this mold is really hard to find a different breed for, and his color makes it even harder. So I just don't see it trying to fit him into my show string somewhere, some kind of mixed breed or some kind of something um, to fit him in there. So he will be finding uh, another home, but that is him. And then the next one that we have that I'm not going to keep um, is this little girl. And this is inspired by Tom Thumb. He was one of the live show prizes that year. So it's this little pony. She's pretty cute. Um, I have two on this mold that I do show. She has a cute little snip there. And just her color, this mold, is really cute. She does have a couple of flaws, but the biggest flaw is that spot right there on her back. I did give her a bath. It didn't come off. Can't tell. It's kind of like off-colored paint a little bit. It doesn't really want to focus on it really well, but... Yeah, it's like paint that's kind of a different color. Not really sure what's going on there. Uh, didn't really want to come off, and um, that's kind of enough to, to kick her out of the running for me. So she is not going to be staying either, but she is cute. And that was her. 
And then we'll get to kind of my favorites of the five. This is kind of middle of the road for me, but this one um, is Into the Woods, and it was inspired by the drama contest, diorama, excuse me, drama, excuse me, diorama contest um, prize model for 2011, which was Happily Ever After. And she's just a nice dapple gray. Um, she really does not have hardly any flaws on her. A uh, couple spots here and there, but nothing bad. And she does have some some pretty decent dapples. Just a nice, nice classic gray. Solid gray. Um, so I am going to keep her. I'm going to hold on to her for a little while. We will see. And uh, I decided to call her... I was going to do Ghost in Gray. But then I believe I changed it. And now I honestly can't remember what I changed it to. But it was something about Ghost in Gray or Gray something. So... Something along those lines for her. Um, and that is, that is that one. So she'll join my stablemate uh, show string. I'm going to hang on to her for a little while. And then the next one that we have is this one. This is the Paint uh, Mayor Pendragon inspired by Camelot, who was the live show grand prize. For the open show for that year. She's a really nice paint. Just kind of a bay, bayish paint and mine is pretty good i mean she has some some mark you know some stuff on her offside there but her markings are pretty crisp overall she does have a little bit of kind of some shiny marks going on on her back but nothing awful and uh again her markings are actually quite nice and quite crisp and then her face too she has a couple maybe little spots on her snip there but Really, overall, she's pretty cute, and I only had one other paint on this mold that was not as nice as her, so she's kind of taken uh, that model's place, and I decided to just go ahead and call her a morning coffee. So that is her. And finally, the last model that probably is my favorite. Um, don't know at all what I'm going to possibly try to show him as or fit him in as, but this is Loxley, who was inspired by Nottingham. He was the volunteer model for 2011. And, um, really, really just nice kind of bay purplish roan. This guy was probably in the best shape out of all of them, actually. Uh, he really doesn't have hardly any flaws on him. His markings are nice and crisp. He's just that nice bay color. His snip is really nice. And, uh, he's just a nice model overall. And that brings my con kind of little conga I have going on this mold up to, uh, four now. So that's pretty, pretty cool. And all my other ones have shown pretty well. So I'm excited to have him add him to my show string in some form. He'll probably be a mixed breed of some kind, but I do uh, like him quite a bit. And his name is going to be Jet into Vegas. So he's a cool guy. And uh, so overall, that's all the models that I actually got from Briarfest this year. There's another overall kind of glimpse of who they're after. And um, that's all the models that I got this year. I, again, didn't really send out to spend a whole lot. Um, just the one all-access ticket. And really all the models that I got is all that I was interested in. Um, I've been branching out with a couple different other hobbies and life interests and things. So Briarfest was kind of on the back burner a little bit this year, um, which is fine. And I'm hopefully going to be getting more into the model horse show stuff this fall. Uh, possibly a model horse show to attend. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, this October, and um, otherwise I will try to have a couple other videos out um, on this channel before then. So thank you so much for watching this video, and have a lovely evening. Please comment down below if you have any comments to share or questions to ask, and subscribe if you have not, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!